Hello everybody, Top Ball here with Left Handed Knife Reviews, and today we're going to be reviewing this knife, the Kaiser Vanguard Beg Lighter. Let's get right into it. Let's start off with some facts and figures. This is just under a 3.5 inch blade in stonewashed VG10 steel. The handle is made of G10 and it measures right over 4.5 inches. At the time of this review, this knife sells for $59 on Blade HQ. I'm going to put some items on the screen for size comparison, as you'll see the dimensions of the knife appear on your screen. Here we have the Ontario Rat Model 2. Here is a unsharpened Dixon Ticonderoga pencil. Here we have an, another good budget option, the Civivi Elementum. All right, let's move on to our observations while using the knife. Overall, the bag lighter was comfortable to use. The G10 handle is well textured and provides a good grip. The size of the handle gives enough room to get all four fingers on, and even with uh, me and Larry's large hands, we were able to get a good grip on the knife. This knife is also comfortable to hold in a few different ways, whether you're choking up on the knife, holding it more like a a drumstick, or really bearing down for some harder tasks. The knife does have a thinner profile in the hand, so it can feel a little bit small, and the spine is perfectly in line with the handle, and there's no jimping here, which took a little bit of getting used to, and your thumb does slide around a little bit. All right, so let's take a look at what this knife succeeds at. The big ladder succeeds in a few areas. The blade is a nice blade. It cuts well, and it has a little bit of heft to it without being bulky. This blade reminds me of kind of a cross between a Rat 1 and a Rat 2 blade. Thin and, you know, well suited for cutting tasks, but enough heft on the spine so it doesn't feel dainty. The construction and the materials of the knife are good, and it has a good little action once dialed in. It just pops right open with a nice little snap. The knife looks really nice also. It's quite classy, very low scare factor on this knife. So let's move on to the struggles. This knife fell into some gray area when it came to struggles. The margin between having blade play and having a nice action is very thin. And trying to hit that spot can be very trying. The ergos on this knife were a point of contention between me and Larry. For me, the clip is in an awkward spot, especially when it's lefty carry and the overall diameter is a bit small for me, and I didn't really care for the lack of jimping on the back. Larry really enjoyed this knife, and he thought the ergos for him were really, really good. So that is a difference that we saw in this knife. This was definitely a struggle for me, but for Larry, he didn't mind it at all. Points of note. Points of note are neutral things we want to mention, but fall in the gray area between successes and struggles. This pocket clip is not a deep carry pocket clip. This has a very good thumb stud deploy. The VG10 did require a sharpening during the review process. The factory edge out of the box wasn't the sharpest. And this knife was packaged really well. It came in a nice box with a nice little microfiber cloth, which was a really nice touch for this price point. All right. Now for everything that's left. The part of the review we talk about everything left-handed about this knife. This knife has a good deploy for both a left and a right-handed individual with the thumb stud. The cutout for a lefty is significantly smaller than the right-handed cutout. Um, I do not notice any reduced ability to deploy this knife left-handed. The clip is where I have most of the problems with this knife. This clip, as set up here, is set up for a left-handed person. As you can see, this clip comes incredibly close to the edge of the knife. So when it is open and in your hand, it is digging into your pinky as it wraps around the knife. So the Part of your pinky that should be wrapping around the knife is actually digging in to the clip because it's so close to the edge. And that is incredibly uncomfortable. And after this review, I'll be switching it back to the right hand side because in all honesty, it makes the knife unbearable 
to grip fully. I've decided I'm going to do this mid-review so you can see. See how it comes this way, gets really close to the edge, and then comes in a little bit. Now I will switch to the other side of the knife. Ah, that's better. Now you can see the pocket clip follows the actual flow of the knife. And when holding it, even though my fingertips do rest on top of the pocket clip, which normally would be very uncomfortable, this causes less discomfort than if the pocket clip is on the left side and it's digging in to the arch of my pinky. So this is where this clip will stay. Let's talk about recommending this knife and our final thoughts. Both Larry and I recommend this knife for people who are looking for a thinner knife that has a touch of style to it. If you're looking for a knife that carries well and doesn't hog pocket space or money, this knife might be for you, as long as you're carrying it on the right side. The one group of people we do not recommend this knife for are for people who want to carry on their left hand side and use a pocket clip. The pocket clip in the left hand orientation is very uncomfortable to the point that it makes using the knife an unpleasant experience. And for this knife, coming in at $59, this is a knife that should be a pleasant experience because it is a really good knife with very few pitfalls at this price point. In the end, this is a really good knife. For $59, this knife brings a lot to the table with only really one downside. Thank you very much for joining us. Be sure to subscribe for more great knife content, and we'll see you next time.